meditation. It helps to calm and strengthen the what? In a man. Now let's go to the scripture in Colossians. Since we're dealing with music and we're dealing with the whole aspect of meditation. One writer says, he who sings prays twice. Amen. In the book of Colossians chapter 3, and we begin to see the apostle Paul saying something very interesting. He says, and let the what? The, let the what? Do what? Can I tell you that the one that is supposed to be your ruler or the umpire is the peace of God? If it's peace, flow with it. If, it's, if it does not produce peace within, don't move with it. Here's a quick lesson on how to hear the voice of God. It's, if it's peaceful, then he's leading you towards it. If it's not peaceful, he's leading you away from it. What is it that irritates your spirit could be something that God is trying to give you a warning about. Amen. What is it that affects you within, not externally, but internally. Because, see, peace does not mean the absence of war. You can still be in war and have peace within. How many know that you can be still going through a situation or in a battle, but you have a peace within? Amen. I, re I experienced that not too long ago. Amen. I was in a situation where there was a battle going on. Amen. There was darts being thrown. And I cannot express the utmost amount of peace that I felt. I felt so centered in the will of God. And then another dart was thrown from another camp. And the darts just kept coming. And people just started throwing accusations and darts, amen, attacking a message, amen, attacking a message of liberation, attacking the prophetic. And while all of that was going on, I cannot explain the great degree of peace that I had on the inside. And I heard the peace of God saying, you've got to pass through this because I'm setting you up for a blessing. He said, how you handle it determines your outcome. And see, whatever determines your outcome, amen, I like to go a little further, it'll also determine your income. Some of y'all missed the income because y'all didn't know how to handle the outcome. Some of you missed the blessing, amen. And see, that's one of the things we've got to understand and we're going to be dealing with in a few weeks, maybe months, but as soon as the Holy Ghost releases us, but we're going to understand some things about servanthood and what God is calling us into as servants here in the house of the Lord. And one thing at Zoe we must understand is as we keep getting new people in, we've got to get them indoctrinated into spiritual protocol so that they understand order and spiritual authority and what it means to be a servant of the Most High God. But let me just give you this little note on servanthood which you need to grab a hold of. If you serve the man of God, you'll get rewarded. But do not serve for reward. You'll get rewarded if you serve but it is illegal for you to serve looking for the reward. And what oftentimes happens is that people are more in pursuit of the reward than the service. And sometimes we've got to begin to ask what is the call that God has called us unto. Amen. So he says, let the peace of God do what? Rule where? In your hearts. Amen. In your hearts. Amen. In your centers of being. Amen. To the which also ye are called in what? And be ye one. And it appears as though that you allow the peace of God to rule in your heart and you to be thankful. But then in verse 16 it says, let the word of Christ do what? Amen. Dwell in you how? In all what? Teaching and what? 
teaching and what? Now, teaching and admonishing or teaching and instructing you, teaching and admonishing one another in what? Psalms and what else? And spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. Can I also say to you that God wants you to come forth to such a degree that you begin to understand you become whatever you sing. Say with me, I become what I sing. When I sing, I become, I become what I sing. See, and meditation brings us to a place where we begin to shut down the external or shut down the ego. Your ego is the big sin. Say with me, my ego is sin. sin. Say with me, myself is sin. See, anytime you stand in your self-life, you're standing in sin. And isn't most of the things that we fall out about, it's about self? And if self was really crucified, you would have really had victory in an area. But because your ego was in the way, that is what produced a downfall. Amen. 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 The ego is my other self or otherness. My ego is that which stands outside of God. And it's supposed to be crucified so that all that is left is God. Can I tell you that hell is designed to burn and consume self? Hell is designed for the devil and his angels, for self and its thoughts. Hell is designed to consume self. See, either you get the baptism with fire now, or you get baptized into fire later. Touch your neighbor and say, either way, you're going to go through the fire. Oh, you better get the fire of the Holy Ghost on the inside of you where you are baptized with the Holy Ghost and fire, where you get filled and under the control of the Holy Spirit and get consumed by God. Because if you don't get consumed here, you're going to be consumed down there, wherever down there is. There is a consumption going on. Amen. And probably within the next several weeks, some of your thoughts concerning hell may change. And then others of you are going to find that you're already in hell. So you only go on to the eternal state of what you are already in. You're in the same state, but you just change locations. So right now, you are either in heaven or in hell. Touch your neighbor and say, what are you in? See, if you're in a rage, you're in hell. You're in peace, you're in heaven. Touch your neighbor and say, that's just so simple. Now, let's go on back to the slide. I don't want to get too far off. Next. Now, music plays an important role in meditation. It helps to calm and strengthen the inner man. I'm going to talk about the inner man here in a minute. Meditation will teach us how to reach into the depths of our spirits and go into areas where we have never been in been where we've never been to connect with God. Can I tell you that heaven is just union with God? (laughs) Some of you are looking for heaven up behind the clouds. Can I tell you that heaven is all around you? 